Hola. How you guys doing? Happy Friday. This video is not going to be going live until next Tuesday. But I wanted to vlog today. Um, I haven't done a vlog on here in a while. And it's just a totally like, like at home vlog. I'm going to be receiving some happy mail today that I'm going to unbox with you guys. Uh, there's really nothing much that's happening today. I think later today we're going to take Kai out to um, like a little local museum. Right now he's with his grandparents, which are my in-laws, um, at the Science Center in Kansas City. Um, and he's going to be there for a couple of hours while I finish studying. I... If you're new to my channel, you won't know this, but I am taking a exam at the end of this month for mortgage loan origination to get my license. And I have been studying for a while now, but what I did was I divided like the whole entire textbook into like segments and have been reading whatever I'm required to read every single day and then I'm taking a practice test tomorrow which is gonna show me like any deficiencies that I may have um, in terms of knowledge so that I can focus on those things it's been a while since I've had to study so it's been a little a little weird to get used to again but yeah so I've got a whole bunch of shiz around me um, this is my Giulio Apunto Rosa A5. That's my husband talking right now. Um, he works from home now, so yeah, it gets kind of loud. But yeah, this is what I'm using for my studies. And then I also always have my planner <laughs> and my journal near me. Um, and I'm taking a quick break from reading to just watch through my YouTube video that's going live today. Let me show you. So yeah, this is the video that's going to be going live today um, in about an hour and a half. So I always just like to watch through my video, make sure that there's nothing funky going on and that the uh, quality is good. Yes, that is a giant bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon. No, I'm not drinking that now, but it's just left on the dining table. Kirkland brand. Guys, this bottle was eight bucks. Just a side note. Um, but yeah, so I'm going through this and just checking, making sure that all is well and all is good. And I hope this video that I'm filming right now is going to go off on live later, but I hope that you enjoyed this one. Look, picking my nose, picking my nose. So, this is going to be like the most random vlog ever, but I just ran out of ink inside of my Caveco Brass Sport. I have done a review of this, so if you want to check it out, I'll link it down below. But I have been, I got a brand new ink from Robert Oster called Frankly Blue, and it is amazing. So I'm going to... Do a little bit of a ink swatching here. Show you what it looks like. Um, it's so, I actually don't have a lot of blue inks and I don't know why that is. I think because I tend to find blue ink to be kind of basic. Like I don't have any black fountain pen inks because to me it's kind of basic. Um, and I kind of feel the same way about blue. Oops, I got some bubbles in here. Okay, let's go back down. Go back down. All right. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I tend to find it kind of basic to have like a blue or a black ink so I tend to go with like really colorful inks yellows greens pinks reds those types of things um, but 
I've, I have quite a collection of Robert Oster inks at this point and I figured, oh, hey, let me try, let me try out a blue. So I got this frankly blue color and it is so nice. So, so nice. It is not basic at all. Um, and actually, let me go ahead and before I write, let's go to this page and swatch it. Swatch it. Swatch it good. All right. This is my desk, by the way. I share an office space with my husband. So when he's doing conference calls and stuff, I typically will set up the dining table and not the office. Um, so let's watch it, let's watch it. You're super far away from me right now. Well, the camera is. <coughs> oh my God, there's good. <coughs> oh, Lord, there's always two in there. Sometimes there's a third. Is it gonna come? I don't know. It might surprise me here in a second but all right so there I have swabbed the ink and that is what it looks like I can't tell because the viewfinder is not facing me right now so I don't know if you can see but this ink is lovely look at the shading in it let's go ahead and write with it so this is the Robert Uh, those gun those gunshots are Matt's watching a movie right now. Uh, so yeah, those are the gunshots. <laughs> Sorry, Robert Oster, frankly blue. There we go. Let's cover up my pen. See. Oh my God, it's so nice. And when it dries, it has a beautiful like shading to it. Um, I don't think there's any, sh no shading to it, but it is so, it's such a calming, beautiful blue. Um, so I've been writing with this a lot. And as you can tell, I wrote on it on this side. So there's um, a hint of ghosting, but no bleed through. And this is Leuchtturm paper. And uh, let's see, even with the ink swab, Look at that. Ghosting, but no bleed through. Fantastic. Get yourself some Robert Oster Frankly Blue because, frankly, it's delightful. Putting on my Burks. I'm gonna go get the mail. Just go get the mail. Remember if you want to come with Mama? Our garage is a mess. This is real life, people. Hi, Murphy. You gonna come get the mail with mama? You get the mail with mama? Cutie booty. There she blows. <laughs> okay. Let's see. God, I can't even get the key in here. I'm too excited. There we go. Okay, so at this point, you've probably figured out that I'm completely nuts. <laughs> Never a dull moment with Christina. But I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these packages for you. Where's the other one? Oh, it fell. All right, okay. You're probably familiar with this blue padded envelope. This is a package from She Sparrow. little because it's pocket size <laughs> this purchase was completely inspired by Alicia Adventure Denali this is a pocket creme brulee um, Deluxe. Mmm, she smells good. Oh look, there's like a marking on the back. It looks like it was a scar at one point. Can you see that? Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. 
so what's interesting about this is I have quite a few creme brulees and this one feels different to me in texture for some reason. Let's move my pocket bleach term in. she can I do it can I do it Ooh. wow you can tell you can tell that my mr. Darcy is old because the elastics on this are like not very firm anymore I probably need to get new ones and these ones are so strong Alrighty. perfect Oh, see, I can't wait to use this thing and get it nice and broken in and patinaed. Oh, so pretty. Um, I didn't opt for any inscription on, it, uh, inscription on it this time. I actually tend to prefer creme brulees with more texture than this like a bigger green um but this is this is really nice what i really like is like the scars and everything on the back to me that adds a lot of character to the piece and oh this pen loop is nice and broken in already i don't know if that's just because creme le leather is soft but oh look not even an issue sliding in my cabeco i actually must say that i am a person that really did love the old pen loop um, because I liked the way it folded in but this one's nice and soft so yeah so that was my first thing to unbox for you next thing is this um, it's, I wonder if you guys can guess right now what's inside of this box considering the shape Probably should have slit this open before doing this because now you're having to watch me do this. <laughs> Yay! Aww. So I ordered um, a vintage fountain pen from Peyton Street Pens. It looks like they gifted me an extra pen. What kind of pen is this? Oh, whoa, it's an eraser. That's gonna come in handy. And it looks like this is a pencil. Oh, I'm excited about this. It says, this is a gift. It's not the pen you ordered. How nice. So this is my order information that has the actual info on the pen. So I'm going to keep it here and I'm going to open this up towards you. So you're going to see it first. Okay. <laughs> I thought I would see the pen right away. This is a fail. Ooh. There's a plastic coating on it. Let me take this off. Yeah. Wow. So this is a Schaefer flat top from the 1930s. It was labeled as excellent condition and Peyton Street Pens does restore most of the pens that they sell. Um, it is in jade with black ends. I believe it's a fine point. Yep. Doesn't say it on here, but I know I'm pretty sure it was a fine point. <gasps> it's so cute. I've I've been wanting to add a jade pen to my collection, specifically vintage, not a new one. But it's so hard to find a jade that isn't discolored because um, jade apparently over time will like discolor in certain areas, and this hasn't even like a pretty even color throughout. Um, and that was something that I was really looking for. 
and I love the Schaefer that I have so I figured I'd try getting another Schaefer and I can't wait to use this. Um, I'm going to turn the camera down so we can do some, some play. Let's test it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and ink this baby up. I'm going to use Robert Oster Crocodile Green. Focus, focus, focus. I don't know what's going on here. Crocodile Green. There we go. And um, let's go ahead and ink this up. So this is a lever filler pen. Chose crocodile green because the pen is green. <laughs> that is why. Okay. I don't know if I completed completely filled it out. I need a towel. Ooh, I was not prepared. I was too excited. I forgot to get a towel. Alrighty, so let's see. I don't know if, actually I probably shouldn't have posted that. So I'll take off the cap here in a second. Let's open this up back to our Robert Oster page. Alrighty, let's give this a go. So this is a new pen. Did I not get enough ink in here? Oh, good. Oh, there we go. New pen. Robert. Oster. What is this? Crocodile green. And this is a Schaefer. Flat top. From the 1930s. Oh my god, it's so pretty. So I must say, though, that this nib is a little bit finer than I would normally go for, but let's see, can you see, why is this having trouble focusing? What is happening? All right, there we go. Now, now it's focusing, but there. As you can see, I typically like to write with more of a thick line than this, but this is beautiful. Oh, got ink on my fingers. Wow. The pen itself is gorgeous though. Beautiful. Ooh. All right, I'm going to end the vlog here. I did everything that I wanted to do. I wanted to show you the things that I wanted to unbox, my pen and my new pocket traveler's notebook. And I shared a whole bunch of randomness. I hope you guys enjoyed my rambling and my craziness. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.